as someone who doesn't live in London, mm -hmm. is this story cutting through or is this a Westminster bubble? That's my, my, my interest. Well, I think, um, yes, it's, it's a Westminster bu bu bubble. It's been hyped up or interrogated by the media. My personal feeling is there's a lot to be getting on with as we come out of the pandemic. We've got Russians potentially invading uh, Ukraine. We've got energy crisis. We still haven't finished with our Brexit issues. So, yeah, when this is a failure of leadership, actually, it's not a failure of leadership. It is the triumph of culture over strategy. And anyone running a business understands that culture eats strategy of breakfast. And what we've got is a culture in 10 Downer Street, where they had parties in the, in, in the garden. And when Theresa May says, didn't you read the rules or didn't you understand them? Or more importantly, did you think they didn't apply to you? Yeah, I think he didn't think or they didn't think it applied to them because we're key workers and we've got our own culture. Mm -hmm. So I think it was, a, it was a culture's issue. And actually underlining all of this, the real question is, why weren't they petrified? What, you know, if, we, if you take your mind back to two years ago, mm. why were they not petrified to be one with another? Mm. Because actually, the general public, for those who didn't see their mums or, mm. or, or partners when they were in the throes of death, they were petrified and were following the rules because they thought this was the way out. Mm. Whereas in Downing Street, they weren't petrified. They were having parties. That's the real crux of it. And actually, what we're doing for all of this stuff, as far as I'm doing, is a white rabbit. Look over here when a real question is over there. Mm. And Cathy Ginger, do you agree with that then? Or do you feel like the question of whether he is fit for office, as Keir Starmer put it, is really, you know, well, laid bare well, in the papers it, it, this morning? It's a media feeding frenzy and it's going on and on. And unfortunately, the media are enjoying it as much as actually Westminster's enjoying it. So I'm very cynical about the whole Westminster media elite thing. Loads of the people in the media were breaking the rules. There's nobody who can take the moral high ground on this in Westminster. They well, hang say, on a minute. No one in the media was setting the rules. No one was standing in no, the tent down no, the street enforcing the rules. Nobody was turning around and saying these rules are monstrous. People died in care homes because of these rules, because of neglect. Nobody in Parliament there. Keir Starmer says we shouldn't feel guilty. Yes, we should feel very guilty about unnecessary lockdown rules that had more people dying in care homes of neglect. Did he not read the big report that came out? Our website was actually alerting people to the nightmare in care homes all along. I was so relieved my mother had died at 97 the year before. If I hadn't been able to visit her, I sat with her as she died. Mm -hmm. I mean, actually, I think I would have fought to have got in that care home. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe that people were so easily believed morally that it was OK for the government to tell them to do this. Where has that debate been? Mm -hmm. Where has it been in the papers? Not really.